everybody welcome back to my channel I am Heather the confetti stitcher today is Monday don't say May it's not May it's March 25th and we got our whip go calls for the week so I will go over those in a minute but we are starting the week off with Rapunzel which this will be our starting point I have a very busy day today so I don't know how much progress will get made but currently 9, about 9.10, and I have meetings all day starting at 10, so. We have our picture, so this is what it's going to look like. This is Rapunzel by Anya Kai, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I've had this one for a very long time but it is still on the website. And this one is being done one over one full cross on 21 count um, that I got from like the DMC, Charles Craft, ones you can get at Michael's and dyed it myself. And actually I can leave this out. So our whip go, got called and we got numbers 18 and 21, which for me is Santa in the Clouds. This is a Tilton Crafts. We're like in all the pinks and purples. And this one is being done two over one tent stitch on the same type of fabric that I dyed a different color. So you'll see this. I think this week. I haven't looked at all the numbers and everything yet. Because it literally just got called this morning, so. Jeez. And then the other one that got called is Museum Shelf. Regular size max color, which I will not be doing the frame. But this one is... Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. 28 count, one over one, full cross on. I'm not actually sure who it's by. It's a green fabric that I got. It's an even weave um, that I had gotten in a LNS closing sale thing. <laughs> That is a lot thinner, so. Anyway, we are currently doing the 2024 Epic Journeys Challenge for Full Coverage Fanatics. Oh, sorry. Group on Facebook. So we're going to be putting in 3,524 stitches on Rapunzel. Then we have the Odyssey coming up, which is a lot. It's 8,356 stitches, and Lewis and Clark's Journey, which is 5,632. So, those are all the projects we're definitely going to see this month, because that's a lot of stitches to put in. <clears throat> and I'm still... I'm going to try to get this one done by the end of March. I don't know if that will be possible, but I have... Pretty busy week this week, but next week is spring break. So, and at the end of spring break, I have a retreat, which is local. It's about two hours away, like two and a half hour drive for me. So there's not a lot of like traveling, prepping time, but I will have to use part of my spring break to pull flosses for those two projects, which since Museum Shelf is a max color, we'll see how that goes. But the biggest one, which I think was the Odyssey, um, that one will be done on Santa in the Clouds, which will have to be doubled. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a lot of decisions to pull those 
as far as which colors I want to take because I'm not pulling all the colors. Um, but it makes it a little easier doing the typewriter method, which is my preferred way of stitching these projects. It's kind of typewriter by page. Um, but some of them, like with Rapunzel, I'm going past the page. Some of them, I'm doing very strict page. Um, but basically, those are with fabrics that I know can handle a page without creating lines. Which this fabric can, but the way I started stitching it, I think was for a hay challenge way, way, like, several years ago. And so, it's just kind of all over the place. So, as of now, it's being done by page, or typewriter style, by page, but just where it makes sense to stop, not page lines. Anyway, that was a lot of talking. Welcome. I forgot to say hi. Welcome, everybody. It's been a morning. <laughs> um, so welcome to everybody who's new. Welcome to all of my subscribers and those of you that keep returning. I hope you guys are going to like this vlog. It should be hopefully not too chaotic. Now that we have everything pulled, I will be coming back to you later on today because my market order is supposed to come in today. So we'll see what we got. It's a lot. But anyway, I will see you all later on today. I'm going to get set up for my meetings, hopefully get some stitching in, and we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, March 26th. It is 9 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't come to you last night like I said I would because my package didn't come to like 8 o'clock at night, and so I wanted to have the good lighting. Sometimes our mail comes at like 3, sometimes it comes at 8. So, sorry, I'm putting on my watch while I talk to you guys. So I wanted the light from like the daylight to show you guys because otherwise the lighting in here is really weird. <clears throat> so anyway, first off, I put in 187 stitches yesterday. So we finished out that length and we're actually going to start down here, come back and work our way over. I forget why I did that, but I think it was because it makes sense that way. And then I had another length on there and it disappeared somewhere. So I'm gonna have to pull a new one. But then these are all of the goodies that we got from Market. So the thing that took so long was I had ordered these pins from primitive hair and I guess these sold out so they had to be shipped but I love St. Patrick's Day decor so I'll definitely be stitching something and those will go with it this one was not a market release but I had said yes me on a post um knowing that I was going to be getting market stuff so I told her just hold on to it until then because I don't need it right away but I went ahead and got the sorceress because it's got everything I love about witchy stuff. Like the owl, the cat, the crystal ball, the blue star studded dress. Yeah, super pretty. And these are all in the order that I received them in. So next up we got Fernie Ritter's Dark Flame Candle Company. Or Dark Flame. It says fall series, so I'm curious to see what else is in this one. But the flames aren't dark, so those are going to become black flame candles. Which should be pretty easy to... Oh yeah, it's all one color. There's only... There's only five colors in here. So that's got to be... Interesting. So the two flames and this are all variegated. It's a week's dye works. 
so you'd have to be really careful about stitching it in order to get that effect so I don't know about that I think I would have to this part I would probably do with a variegated but these yeah I'd have to look but either way that's not gonna look just like that so it's interesting they were able to get that flame effect in the middle then more flames we got the camper sampler by Silver Creek which I don't normally like samplers but I love camping stuff So I know it's hard to read. It's crisp, crisp, cool air, moonlit night, warm bonfire, stars so bright, dancing flames, ancient lore, embers glowing, make us more. You can see most of those, but those red. A little hard to see on that fabric. Then we got Witch Cats board, which I've always wanted to get a Ouija board. And the fact that this one had the kitty cats on it sold me on it. Plus the letters are... A pretty font. I feel like I might have actually made that pumpkin at one time. And that's by Cotton Pixels. I forgot I'd signed up for this one, but I got, oh, and this one also came with the charm. Planchette charm. Next up I got Holiday Cheer which is a little festive wines. I don't love the color of that blush, so I'd probably change it. Although I do love a rosé. Then I didn't realize that I had all these, but we got a bunch of freebies. I don't know if everybody got all these. So I will show you the ones that I can because some of them like this first one are just the pattern itself so the first one is no rain no flowers by sweeping studio and it's like got raindrops the actual words no rain no flowers and then a couple of flowers um, let's see here. then there is a little bird it looks like a partridge or a um, quail maybe by Jeanette Douglas then we got Live in Full Bloom by Tiny Modernist. Cross Stitching Every Day by Romy's Creations. Cross Stitching Every Day Keeps the Doctor Away. Praiseworthy Stitches, um, it says love and then it has a couple of bunnies and a flower in the middle. A Sweet Little Biscornu by Lottie Da, and it looks like a little snowflake pattern, which I've never done a Biscornu, so I might have to try that. Sambri Stitches has a, it's, I wish I could show it to you, it's a Bigfoot that is baking a cake. So he's got like a little chef's hat on and a spatula and I think it looks like a cake. The blue flower gave us a sweetheart squirrel. So it's a squirrel holding a heart. And thistles gave us, so I'm waiting for summer, which is that one. So that was really nice of them. This is my first market order. So like I said, I didn't know that. And it could just be a Sammy. Just, I don't know if she got them for everybody or because I placed a big order or what, but that was really nice. Next up we have Fox and Rabbit, Queen of the Night. Cause that one is too pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna do like the crown and like the snowflakes. First, I think those are supposed to be stars. But I just love the colors. That will definitely be done on black. Then, Witch's Brew by Don't Forget to Floss. Or Finally a Farm Girl. Not actually. Oh, Finally a Farm Girl. 
so this one I know that's most people's favorite part but I don't like the mouse so I would just be cutting it out and doing the teacup and the coffee pot I might change the coffee pot's color too I'd probably just make it orange to match everything else probably be like orange overkill but I think it would really make the steam stand out as well and that one did not come with a spider charm And finally, we have Counting Puddles Brew Crew. See what this... I kind of fell in love with like the sparkles in the, the cauldron. And it kind of looks like the pumpkin is sparkly. It kind of reminds me of those like glitter tattoos that people get. I say people like I don't want one. I definitely want one. But yeah, this one would be a good one to use up a lot of my variegated flosses from color and cotton because they're like variegated but they're not like super super variegated they're like usually like the color with a little bit of like white or cream that would be good for like the like the pumpkin and the cauldron and all that so which I'm curious okay so that is all stitches of different colors it's two different colors but I feel like he might need a little bit of back stitching, which he doesn't have. Anyway, this is all back stitch, all that yellow, so that would take a while, but don't know why I fell in love with that one. That's not my normal aesthetic. I mean the witchy part is, but anyway, that is all of my market stuff. I better get stitching if I have any chance of ever doing them. Um, I've got a busy day at work today, so I have to go meet somebody at the park, and then I have to get some paperwork done. So I'm going to work on that. Hopefully I'll get some stitching in, because I really want to finish that up, that task. And then I will see you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Wednesday. Day, March 27th. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. yeah. It's like almost four yeah. and I've been in meetings yeah. all day. But I put in 253 stitches yesterday, I think. And we finished almost to the top, like going back up to the top. And I realized that I'm off two, oops, sorry, two rows with the color I'm doing now. I'm off here somehow and I think everything, I'll be able to make everything match up. So I'm not really sure how that happened, but I think this color, this like purpley color kind of threw everything off. So we're gonna be filling in and making it work, but I think this part is counted correctly down. I just think it's like it's the correct length it's just two stitches too far up so i'm gonna have to make up for it down here <laughs> but anyway we're right here moving our way back up here so that we can follow the big one down again and then we'll be done with this color so that's all i have i'm gonna go placate the demon and check in with you all tomorrow hey everybody welcome back it is thursday march 28th it's 10 30 in the morning I forgot how many stitches I put in yesterday. <laughs> I think it was like 120-ish. But we finished going back up. So I'm really hoping I can finish this color on this page today, but we shall see. And I think what I've decided is that I'm just going to have this be two rows too high, like as far as I'll have an extra two rows added to the entire pattern. And then I'm gonna come down here and try to get it all evened out when I get down there, so. I might have to add a couple of stitches down, but yeah, excited to be out of this color. <laughs> anyway, I also am very much wanting, because I still have it up here, I'm really wanting to start this one. I have to look for fabric, and there's a lot of backstitch, a lot of Krynikin beads, but 
my husband and I decided we are going to go to Vegas for my birthday for just like two or three days. So I will get the stuff I need there at Stitcher's Paradise and I don't know, we'll see. Since it's my birthday, I might do it for a birthday start, maybe. I'm gonna look through all my fabrics that I have and see if I have anything that might work for it, but wasn't planning on doing a start, but I kind of want to do one. So anyway, I've already thought about like going through and making a working copy. So yeah, that might be a new start soon. But until then, I have a slow day at work today. And so I'm going to do some stitching. So uh, hopefully I'll have something good to show you tomorrow. And that's all I have. So I will see you then. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Friday, March 29th. It is 12.14. I put in 263 stitches, I think, yesterday. I need to double check that, but I put in all of the... What color is that? 3371. And then the next color is going to be this dark purple again, which is 154. And in order to start to even up on the bottom and get back on track, I'm going to start, this like starts to create this archway here. So I'm going to start from down here and work my way up. So that's where that is at. I don't know how much I will be getting done today. I did a lot of cleaning this morning, but there's still a lot to go. But um, baby boy is trying to fall asleep now, so that will take place after he wakes up. So I will get some stitching done now. But I pulled, now next week during spring break, he is still going to school, so I should get a lot of progress, but technically we're officially on spring break. So I pulled out the Sorceress that I showed you guys, pulled out some fabrics. So they're both completely different fabrics. My first choice is this one. But then I turned it over and there's a lot of orange on the back, so I need to pull the full piece out because I'm afraid that chair will get lost if there's a lot of that orange. Yeah. Like if it was this, it'd be perfect, I think, because it would match those like pillows in the back. But then my other safe choice is Celtic Snow. So they're both live and die LA. And this one has beads and crinic, so it would show up good on this, but I don't know, we'll see. I don't know when I'm gonna start it, but like I said, I wanna probably start it soon, so. Anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys. Like I said, just gonna be doing more cleaning today and all that, so we'll see what I get done, but I will show you all that tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Saturday, the 30th of March. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. Baby boy has decided he does not want to take a nap today, so I'm going to have to go grab him in a second. I put in 130-ish stitches, I think, yesterday. And... We finished up down here, coming up into the archway. A lot of this up here is that color, so it's gonna get a lot more put in up there, but so far I think my plan is working to keep this even on the bottom, or to keep it correct on the bottom. So we are working So basically we came down here on our hair and then we're coming back up here. And then hopefully, actually no, we have a darker purple after that. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. I think we have 550 coming up after that, so 
I'm gonna say hopefully we're getting out of the dark colors, but we're not, so. <laughs> but considering how few the dark colors are in this piece, I'm sure I'll be begging for it later on, but anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. I will check in with you. Oh, I, I looked at the, I pulled out this fabric and this part is, takes up, I need to do my nails again. I want to, it takes up like this side of the fabric, but not all of the side. So it is definitely not over the whole piece. It's only on this edge bit. So still debating on that, but we'll see. I want to do a floss toss, um, but I won't be able to do that for a couple of weeks. So, and it's kind of more the Krynik that is the outline here. Like all the stars and stuff, that's the part I'm worried about. And then a little bit of the chair with that brown, but more that Krynik. So I could always change that if I needed to. But I think I might, I'm pretty sure it's the same one that's in her dress, like those swirls. So I kind of just want to get that one color and try it out. So maybe I'll just make it one, two, three stitch order since I'm not going to be there for another, well, I guess it's basically like two full weeks, which is not that much time, but <laughs> we know how we get. Um, so anyway, I will keep thinking about it and see you all tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Easter, which means it is March 31st. It's, I think like 1231-ish. And I put in 240, I think like 43 stitches yesterday. So just under the 250, but We've pretty much finished up the archway, and if you can hear baby boy, we just tried to put him down for a nap. Yesterday he did not nap, but we're finishing up this area up here, then we'll come back and fill in this area up here, and then there's a little bit of this color down here. So we're just going to work on that, and I will see you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Monday, April 1st. It is 11.30 in the morning. I haven't gotten anything accomplished today so far. I mean, other than eating, but. I put in 296 stitches yesterday. Still have not reached the top, but we're very close. And we'll see what we can finish today. It is the first day of spring break. I'm hoping to get some stuff accomplished this week. I have a massage scheduled for tomorrow, so I'm really hoping this clears up. Um, we were a little iffy on if baby boy was going to go to daycare today, but he, I think his cough is getting better, so we went ahead and sent him. I would like to get Search the Sky FFO'd and which honestly I don't think would take very long um and then I have a oil change scheduled for Wednesday so yeah still busy <laughs> even though it's spring break so we'll see what I can accomplish I'm gonna try to get this color done today we will see but I will hopefully show that to you tomorrow Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Tuesday, April 2nd. It is almost nine o'clock in the morning and I put in 544 stitches yesterday. No, 566. So I almost bridged that gap, but we did really well, I thought. I'm really hoping my coughing is starting to go away because I have a massage book today at 10.45, so, whoops. 
So I'm really hoping I'm not coughing through the appointment. I really don't think that I am contagious anymore. Um, so I think it's just that lingering cough, but yeah, hopefully I'm not coughing through the whole thing. I'm going to take some Robitussin before I leave. Anyway, so we have like 300-ish stitches. I'm going to double check that right now, but 300 stitches left to finish this project and then get everything else loaded up. I'm kind of annoyed because it's supposed to snow Friday up in where I'm going for my retreat. So they are offering to let us stay Thursday as well, and I really want to, but I feel like I can't do that to hubby with the baby. So I'm still planning on going Friday. It's only, it was originally supposed to be five inches, and then it went up to seven inches, but now it's back down to like four. So I'm really hoping it goes away altogether. And they are gonna save me a seat, my friend's there. So luckily I'm friends with the person who runs it all. Um, so I'm not worried about like not sitting next to people I know, but I'm kind of annoyed because all my friends are going on Thursday and I'm sad because I want to be there too. <laughs> but it gives me an extra day to get better, but also to get everything packed. But I'm really happy with what I did yesterday. I'm going to try to finish it up today, fingers crossed. And then we'll see where things are and hopefully FFO my search the sky. So that's all I have for you guys for today. I will see you all tomorrow. All right, guys, so here is our stopping point for this project. It's about, it's almost five o'clock, but we finished this a while ago. I've been doing some other stuff, but yeah, we'll see this one, not this month, but we'll see it later because it's still on my board two more times. But I'm gonna go get the new projects loaded up and see you later. Okay, so we've got the next one loaded up on the frame. I'm in the living room, so I will show you the picture later. But this is going to be our starting point. This one I am doing extreme cross country per page, starting with the upper left stitch. So this one, Sorry for the shaking. has a while to go because it's just this color over here. So I still have it all the way across. But this is Santa in the Clouds by... I forget his name. <laughs> um, but it is being done on the 28 count Monaco that I did myself. The DMC Monaco that you can buy in the stores. So I will see you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday, April 3rd, I think. It is like nine o'clock in the morning, 9.15. And I put in y'all ready. Ooh, well 29 stitches. Look at that progress. All I did was go down this curve right here. But I also got in a little bit of stash so on Shopify, which a lot of the shops I use use Shopify, you gain credit as you use it. And I had enough credit built up to get stuff. I typed in cross stitch and I saw this adorable little cross stitch kit. And so this was basically free, but it comes with four patterns. So it comes with, I put a spell on you the broom, the mop, and the vacuum, the muck, muck, muck pattern, and also the three hair style pattern. Comes with the floss, which I'm sure is just crappy quality, but who knows? It's this book is branded. It comes with, I think, four pieces of Ada, it looks like. Comes with two needles. And it comes with this adorable little hoop. 
So I don't know if they all fit in the hoop or if you have to move the hoop around, but I thought that was adorable. So yeah, I just wanted to show that to you. They did have some other ones on there as well, but if you haven't used up your shop, buy credits and don't have a anything in mind, go check it out. All I did was type in cross stitch in the, the search bar. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I have to go take my car in to get the oil changed and I will see you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. Glasses are back because now I'm having problems with my left eye. Don't know if it's allergies or what, but <clears throat> anyway, it is Thursday, April 4th. It is almost noon. I'm probably not going to get much progress today, if any. I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to do any because I need to finish packing for my retreat and I leave tomorrow first thing in the morning. So the good news is I did put in 566 stitches again, random, but I seems to be my magic number. I put in um, all of the 414. I have, let me see a tear rolling down my face. I have a, I've packed up all of my um, flosses in my floss box for this project. So this is the only project I'm bringing. I have, I forget the actual number. But because this is 10th stitch, I'm going to be putting in 16,700 and like 12 stitches, I think. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing the Odyssey right now, which is six thousand or sorry, 8,356 stitches, but I have to double that because this is 10. The good news is this does go pretty quickly. It's easy to see because it's on 28 count and it is a lighter fabric. So yeah, I basically, I didn't pack all the flosses needed for this project. I only did the ones that I, I'm pretty sure are on this page. Um, and I figure I have enough of them. I'll grab them really quick for you. I have enough of them that will go into the next page that even if I do happen to finish those pages, which I don't think I'm going to do, but if I do, I will have enough to, to go in the pages down. But I did FFO my search this guy. Don't remember who this is by. But yeah, <laughs> I need to do my nails today. I need to find my chains that are in the garage because you ha you're required to carry chains even if you don't use them. There are three inches of snow predicted between today and tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna need them, but I need to go find them. I bought them for the retreat last year. Um, didn't use them then, but I decided to hold on to them because I have a feeling it's going to happen a lot. So these will be my just in case chains, but I need to go through those in my car. I need to, that's all. The only thing I've packed cross stitch wise is the flosses. So I need to actually get that bag going. Um, my actual bag is packed, my like clothes and stuff, except for I forgot to put makeup in there. So I need to go and do that. And now I have to like pack my eye drops and stuff because that's causing me issues um but yeah other than that it's going to be a lot of luckily I don't have to bring my computer because it's spring break so um it's going to be a lot of just I need to clear off the bed because my mother-in-law is going to be staying most of that is stuff that I'm going to be packing but um yeah just we'll be busy so Anyway, I'm gonna make this my last clip for this series. I will make another clip right after this 
to show the start again so that because I'm not going to film during the retreat at all um but I did realize I forgot to show you what this will look like when it's finished so it's very pink and purple but here is what that will look like when it's done this is, I'm pretty sure it's a Tilton Crofts piece, but I don't think it's up there on her site anymore. Sorry for the sexy quality of my voice. My cough has started to go away, so that's good, but just the rough coughing has done a number on it. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use Hearthfire for my, um, sorceress piece and I did get that printed out so I have a working copy done still no idea when I'm gonna start it but anyway that's all I have for you guys for this one thank you all so much for being here liking subscribing asking any questions leaving any comments I do appreciate them all I don't always respond um, but I do always read so anyway Thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next vlog.